danger yet. Interesting this one. McKenzie just touched the ball as it rolled over. <laughs> that is one clever defender right there, Eric McKenzie. day off usually involves getting up, taking the dog for a walk. He always uh, loves a walk, so up and down the park, out the back here. It's always a good way to start the day, good way to clear the mind and get the legs legs moving. I enjoy it and I think he enjoys it even more. Usually my breakfast will just be a bit of muesli, yoghurt um, and a bit of barocca as well. Usually goes a treat. Probably going to the club, get a massage, um, do a couple of ice spins, just a bit of recovery type stuff, get the body right for the main training, and then I'll uh, do my uni. Just arrived at ECU Jindal up here. I'm off to uh, listen to a couple of lectures and a couple of shoots and do my assignment as well. I need to get that done. I think it's due in uh, about half an hour, so I better, better get underway for that. I went and wanted to do sports science because I just love sport. I loved playing as many sports as I could when I was younger and obviously being a professional athlete, it was something that certainly inspired me to stay in the industry after I finish. I'm going to keep the knees over, yeah, good. It's a great campus up here. People are always very friendly. Uh, the facilities are great, uh, but the elite athlete program was probably the big reason for me signing up to do sports science at ECU. I actually trained from UWA because of that program. It helped me an awful lot because our day off changes each week, so I needed that flexibility of uh, being able to change my shoots and those kind of things. ECU, as you know, is big support for elite athletes, so we have a special program for elite athletes, and we offer so much flexibility for the players because we know there are so much demands on the players. In being a professional player these days, um, training is full-time, there are so many things going in their life, but it's important for the players to have a career pathway after they finish playing. So then, you know, we try at ECU to support the players as much as you can. And Eric is a great example. He finished his bachelor at ECU and now he's doing his master's at ECU. We do a lot of max testing with that. And so for that, you've got to get the technique right. Here, yeah, I'm a sucker for punishment. I uh, signed up to do a master of strength and conditioning. Just thought it's a good chance to further my knowledge in the industry while I'm uh, still at playing football, um, as opposed to doing work experience, which I feel I get at the club. It actually furthers my knowledge of the theoretical side of sports science. I did the degree um, to keep my mind ticking over and to plan for life after footy, because uh, you never know when football can end. So. Uh, the plan is uh, to end up in an elite uh, professional sporting organisation, not necessarily football, I'd love to branch out, go into soccer, uh, basketball, whatever I can get a job at.